Daily Loud has reported breaking an LA court has found Tory Lanez to be innocent and are waiting to reinvestigate his case to see if it was unfairly prosecuted. Okay. Now they say the Daily Loud is owned by some white people who just say some of the most outlandish things to stir the pot in the black people neighborhood. You know, throw a rock, hide their hand type of stuff and own a lot of real estate. Little jitter boy, little white boy owning. Okay. Misquoting the law, misreading court documents. And mind you, you know, Megan, Megan has always said that Tory's team was pretty immaculate in spreading narratives and controlling the blogs when he was out and in jail. Haven't y'all noticed every single time that Megan does a play, there's another play Tory Lane threw out there to let you guys know that, you know, he's innocent and this is who he's in a conflict with, right? So Megan decided to drop her album today. The album is doing horrible. You got your opening act, Glorilla, outdoing you, outperforming you, outselling you. You know, Glorilla is fun. Megan wants to be Nikki. She don't even have an identity. And she taking on this, this let me work to get as many endorsements as possible deal with the Rock Nation. That's what they do. You understand what I'm saying? So her album flopping, it sucks more hard than you suck on the it. Tricking all around town, trying to hate on the itch. Trying to hate on Glorilla. Gonna release your album one week after her. When you on tour, niggas is not vibing and bopping to you. People say, once Glorilla get off the stage as your opening act, they leave. They leave. You have always been a charity case lying on this black man. But one thing I do know how to do is read court documents, okay? Y'all see the Daily Loud talking about the court found him innocent, okay? You can't be mis misappropriating the news and misrepresenting facts and stuff, especially in the court of law. You lose a lot of credibility like that. So, the Court of Appeal has issued uh, Habibi's corpus, meaning that Tory Lanez has filed an appeal is opening brief there was a reply and a response filed and now the court is moving mind you about what four months ago the court of appeal came out and said they will not accept new evidence on appeal and that is a declaration or excuse me an affidavit from jaquan the driver who didn't go and sit on stand and testify on tory's behalf to make sure this boy was innocent but you wanted to come back now that the man life is ruined you want to come back on appeal and sign an affidavit well guess what the appeals court couldn't accept that affidavit want me to tell you why because you had an uh, you you missed your opportunity to be cross-examined now they say the prosecutor didn't want jaquan to testify but now i read the court transcripts i read all of the court transcripts there was no overt objection to any of it it was a constituent it was an agreement Mind you, Sean Holly, the same one that was in bed and did business with Jay-Z on a TV show, represented Tory Lanez around the same times when he had deadlines and motion practices. I'm talking about countless motions, demurs, motion to strike, motion to, lim motion to eliminate, motion for this, motion for that. Sean Holly was representing him, but one filing none of the motions. But when it comes time for him to go to trial and he can no longer file those motions, she want to get out the case and put a new attorney in the case. And now this is a whole new attorney on the pill as well. So his case is all jacked up. Let's be clear. OK, y'all want to sit up there and say there's no no snitch code. Look what's happening in the little dirt. Look what happened to a uh, young Dolph case. OK, niggas is snitching. Get that out your head. If you don't, the, the person that's telling you not to snitch be the main snitch. Just go ask back 100. So let me properly interpret this court document. We have read and considered the petition for writ of Habibi's corpus filed on October the 23rd, 2024. Good reason appearing. The petition will be considered together with petitioners pending appeal in case number B331774 and the prior petition for writ of Habibi's corpus in case number B33805, which is now pending along with this appeal. The attorney general is directed to serve and file a preliminary response to the current petition for writ Habibi Corpus on or before November the 20th, 2024, discussing whether an order to show cause should issue regarding the issues raised in this latest Habibi petition. Okay. Now, the last I know, the DA of LA County is Jackie. Uh, it's a black woman named Jackie. Now, she tried to send me up the road and I represented myself and she had to get the fuck back. So she good for sending Negroes up the road. Mind you, she, she hung out with Kamala Harris. They all know each other. They all in bed. Don't do no work. She feel proud just to harass black people. Ladies and gentlemen, black men, 
when y'all go to be these black women guess what good black men have to suffer the consequences because when they get in a position of power everybody gonna have to suffer y'all done question kamala harris blackness you think she gonna do shit for any nigga oh, absolutely not maybe a couple of them gay sororities like the motherfucker jesting over at the shade room or the kappa tappa alpha or who, omega whatever the hell madonna daughter out there stomping maybe they'll get some opportunity they didn't gave it to uh, Megan Thee Stallion, Lori Harvey, one of the bitch, fi the biggest fish sellers in Hollywood, Lori Harvey. They done got invited to the White House with the pink cocaine. You know Jackie is against this nigga, bro. Uh -huh, they gonna fight this case right here. You know, there's different grounds and rules and stuff at play in this particular case, such as uh, there was a new law enacted in the state of California where the court can't use an artist's, as in a rapper's lyrics, or uh video imagery against them or even tattoos so that right there is a form of prejudice against the jury um there was a lot of hearsay there was a lot of bolstering there was a lot of feelings coming into the court when that's not supposed to happen so i do believe tory has a strong appeal he does have a strong appeal and i'm very interested to see exactly what's going to happen with tory lanes's case but as far as the public believing daily loud to say that tory lanes is getting out and they found him innocent that is intellectually dishonest okay that is what we want to hope for and wish for that is for all the people who's laughing at megan the stallion low album sales to laugh at her and pick at her and say you lied on the black man your your, your open act out soldier and now he get home and coming yada 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 okay next thing you know megan go run and play the victim he, he using the prince to say he's getting out when he didn't she gonna be in another ad for mental health awareness and everything okay Megan, we don't want to hear from you no more, okay? Your former rap is selling VV. Your former rap is selling VV. Nikki doing it, everybody doing it. You ain't got no identity. You want to be the Beyonce of rap, but Trina told you no. Oh, no. Oh, you can't be nobody but yourself, sweetheart. You're going to do another mental health ad because he, the Daily Light, then told all these people, the gullible people, the same people that's voting for Kamala Harris. Oh, no. um, they didn't told him that he's getting out and I'm here to say that 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 is not true it's not true but Megan she you know she gonna blame this petition for why she had a stressful day the next time we see her go live but in actuality it's cause them numbers is low and it's cause your opening act is out selling you and told you to move on and that's crazy cause you with Jay Z and Beyonce them niggas lost 4-5 million subscribers recently y'all knew that so yeah, uh, Tori, we definitely want to free you because I do believe Megan lied on the black man. But this right here is intellectually dishonest. Uh, nigga, you ain't getting out no time soon. Oh, no. Blue face gonna be home before you. Oh, no. Yes, indeed. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. Uh, thank you. Yes. Go type in Funky Dineva Tat and say Denot is live. We like him better. Go type in his chat because I'm, I'm ready for his crooked feet ass to come out over here. Baby. Nigga got his crooked feet fixed. Now they look like pickle pig feet. Get your ass up out of here. Oh. Ow. Um, did you see that dress she had on at the VMAs? <laughs> she doing a number on black women. And, it's, and listen, listen to me, y'all. Listen to me. Okay. Look at this. This is what she did on Gail King. How you going, girl? King, you can't cry. Child, bye. Big foot, but you're still a small fry. There was an argument in the Swear on your mother, that when you died. It was an argument because I was ready to go and everybody else wasn't ready to go. But that's like normal yeah. friend stuff. Like, yeah. we fuss about silly, silly stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. But... I never put my hands on anybody. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Raise my voice. To Girl, you beat the shit out of Kelsey. And she still got Stockholm Syndrome. You beat Kelsey so bad, she said you can have a &R, you can have everything she did for you and your greedy, greedy, bald headed ass mammy before you sacrifice her and you still ain't went nowhere. I was like, this was one of them times where it was like, it shouldn't have got this crazy. It shouldn't have escalated. Right. That it did. So I get out the car and it's like everything happens so fast. And all I hear is this man screaming and he said, dance bitch. And he started shooting and I'm just like, oh my God. Like he shot a couple of times. Girl, Rock Nation should have told you to put some onions up that bitch. Or get some of them cool camera cigarettes like Jay-Z look like. And smoke little bitches or something before you went up here with this.
We don't see nothing. Not at all. You can't even look straight ahead. And I had the nerve to say that you might can play Storm in a new X-Men movie. They must want that bitch to flop. Oh! Horrible actress. And I, I so was is so he scared. in the car shooting from the car? Maybe he now is he... standing up over the window okay. shooting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I didn't even want to move. <laughs> I didn't want to move too quick. Like, cause I'm like, oh my God, if I take the wrong step, I don't know. Uh, we, we sick of you. We sick of you. We definitely sick of you. Look how this is this is what uh right here, right here. This is what celebrating Megan the Stallion looked like, okay? Women getting soft on their daughters, their daughter 13 years old with a bill gut. You don't know if they got a bill your 13 year old daughter, you don't know if she got a bill gut because she just snuck in the alcohol cabinet with you laughing about, or somebody been smucking your little child and now she telling you to move on over. Who are you? Get up in here this morning. My blood pressure already up. Just got back from the emergency room. <laughs> if you think I'm lying, just got back from the emergency room. And I keep receiving messages, right? And so I don't never check my messages on TikTok. So I started checking the messages. And I was like, people was like, congratulations, you know, congratulations. And I was like, what is y'all talking about? So I'm like, you know, you know, you moms, we always want, you know, our kids to do better than we did. You know, we, we always want them to do mm -hmm. better than we did. Uh -huh. And I just wanted my girls, you know, to, I didn't want them having babies in middle school, high school. Uh -oh. you know? I just didn't want that oh. for my kids. I don't know what y'all say about, they say about yours or think about y'all kids, but I didn't want it that for mine. So I called my daughter down here like, Jay, come downstairs, come downstairs. Like, what is going on? She getting ready for school. Like, I noticed she was gaining weight, you know? I noticed, and then she kept asking for clothes. Mama, you got a shirt. You got this. You got that you can wear, you know? And see, I'm, I'm in nursing school and working. Like, I don't be, really be paying attention like that. And see, mamas, we need to pay more attention. But I wasn't really paying attention like that. That girl come down here, and I said, I just stood, I just looked at her. Looking at her, you wouldn't really, you know, think nothing. Just looking at her. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm pacing back and forth because my nerves just on 10. Mm, but mm. I told her to stand up and open her shirt. Oh, oh, stand up. Open your jacket. Oh, hell. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Now, if this oh, Lord. So, y'all. Oh, let me tell you so. Bitch, let me. Uh, listen, I don't know. This. You know, she Generation Z, gotta be. That's why they call it Generation Z. X, Y, Z, what come out the Z? Nothing. We doomed. We doomed. Because what? growing up, when I grew up 13 like that, nigga, what? Talking about calling HIS? Nah, uh-uh, ain't none of that. You wouldn't have left that motherfucker. And the nigga who got you pregnant will be scrolled up the ground with. But you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm willing to bet. The person who got her daughter pregnant is one of the men that she be creeping over there with. Oh, Lord. The nigga been grabbing at your child. You ain't been checking him. And you probably don't even care. You probably actually knew it. Talking about, oh, I just worked this job and I wasn't paying attention. That little piece of nigga that you try to keep hold of when you at home, you doing everything that you can to keep him in there. When your coochie look like prunes. And then when you at work, you got him over there looking at your daughter, knowing that he going to stay there because he looking at your daughter. Now she pregnant. Your daughter says she the lady in the house now. I know. I post that video about me being 13 and pregnant by my boyfriend or whatever. I didn't mean for it to go viral. I've been posting little videos on TikTok. But I didn't mean for it to go viral. But now people messaging my mama. And she didn't know I was pregnant. I didn't tell her I was pregnant. But she done, she, people messaged my mama. She done told me when I was going to school this morning. Unzip my jacket and all that. So I unzipped my jacket and then she saw that I was pregnant. So now she, why the first thing she do is get on TikTok telling everybody. Like, I don't understand that. She went on TikTok telling people my business. Um, she probably not posted on Facebook for all my family. Like, I just don't understand. I don't think, she making it a big deal. I don't think it's a big deal. <laughs> Post your business? What motherfucking business you got <laughs> at 13? What motherfucking business you got? That, this don't make no sense. Telling you, boy, parents have turned to pussies. This is what happened when babies having babies. Your, your baby daddy want to be a rapper, rapping about gangster stuff, and they never shot shit, shot something, and in prison. 
going back and forth in prison because he got his love up in there. And now your daughter here telling you she's the big mama in the house. I said, who 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 in the house? Who run this bitch? Big mama's here. Uh-huh. She said she the big mama, y'all. Big, big mama's here. You know what? I, you know, it's going to be forever fuck Ryan DeSantis because he's a devout racist. But I'm all for banning kids off of social media. First of all, you 13. You 13. And if you was in the state of Florida, I'd tell the people to put you in jail for being 13 years old saying that you pregnant. Because that wasn't supposed to go down like that, sweetheart. I'm sorry. I grew up in a different era. And I ain't trying to flag this video or anything like that. But nobody would have knew you was pregnant. Not in my family at 13. Nobody would have knew you were pregnant at all. Uh-uh. You had the flu. You had the flu. You had COVID. Somebody get a, get a positive COVID test and this what you had and you had the quarantine so you couldn't go to school for two weeks. And you know I don't condone anything like that. But when you're 13, you should not be able to make no decisions like that. Do y'all see how she had the nerve to talk about her mama? I, that's why I didn't tell her in the first place. <laughs> so y'all know I post that video about me being 13 and pregnant. Y'all know I didn't tell her I'm still trying to figure out what motherfucking business you got at 13 in somebody's house. You can't work, can't pay no bill, but you can lay up and open your legs. Let's be clear, you know, and I'm not trying to be inappropriate. I'm just speaking to the stuff that we know. Because, see, the last time I spoke on this, people got mad and they flagged my video. I ain't doing nothing wrong. Okay? No, I, I think it was I actually wish that those girls got the unalivement penalty for unaliving a man in D.C. because I was heated. But I, I do take that back. But what motherfucking business she got at 13? I'm still trying to figure this out. You can be no sister. You can be no niece. You can be no. You can't even be related to me. Mm mm. What kind of skills, craftsmanship? What like? And look how she's acting. Grown. She acted. She emulate everything her mama did. This why the mama is going je jealous of the daughter and pass the man that she really want off to the daughter. That's who. That's who got her pregnant. The mama is trifling because that girl looked like she about to. Mm 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 mm. mm. Homeboy driving her around like a trophy. She 13 in the passenger seat. Like she pay all the bills. Like she done had a hard life. Like she know what it is. Like you are a baby having a baby. Like what the heck? You are literally a baby having a baby and you're proud about it. This why, you know, this why at a certain age, um, you know, they go to taking them baby dolls from the black girls. They go to taking the baby dolls. They go to taking the baby doll. I feel like the baby dolls and the strollers and, and uh, uh, the brat's doll, and I feel like they grooming our children. That's why T.I. and Tiny got their money. It wasn't because of the brat's doll. They done sold people's soul. That's what they did. They know what is happening. Don't she look like she wish she was a brat's doll? No shade, okay? Keep your, keep your girl, like, if she was older, I would be roasting the hell out of her, but I'm not even going to do this. I just feel like this is so inappropriate. And it, it broke my heart when I seen this. It broke my heart. Okay? She was like, she ready to go to the casino or something. 